was a father, relatively a very young age, 24 or something like that, uh, where I was still kind of like trying to understand what I'm doing as an artist and it kind of uh, uh, became uh, um, a subject matter in the work. Um, I realized I cannot be in a studio because you know I had to be I had to be home and, and part of the solution was to use home and use the people who are living with me, my family members as a uh, participant in the work. Um, and that was kind of like a forced uh, uh, situation or a choice that I made. Um, almost a moral choice for me because because it's either to be there or not to be there. So um, eventually, the whole idea uh, kind of evolved either through the use of slapstick in many of the earlier films to kind of feed back to also also you know this tradition of vaudeville families where family members kind of worked. Yeah as groups on stage, so the figure of Buster and Joe Kitten working together, that happens also in Wild Boy, another movie. Um, and the relationship kind of got, I got more and more interested in the way, and that Drop the Monkey maybe is the, the clearest uh, uh, manifestation of that, but in a way uh, that the image you make, the movie you make, uh, transforms your life, and not vice versa. It's not necessarily that the movie reflects life. I mean, there is this relationship between the life you shoot and the movie, but the way you shoot a movie and the act of shooting the movie in life transforms life. So in that case, making the movie in the movie uh, uh, brought about the breakup with my girlfriend. And, and so the whole movie is about uh, trying to use art uh, um, in the service of life and ending up doing just the opposite. You know, you're being tied up, your life is being tied up because you're committed to something. Um, so that kind of like uh, um, an interest I have, and it appears, I guess it appears in, in, most, of the, in most of my work, uh, trying to kind of figure it out and, and understand what's really happening. Um, the, 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 the big, sh I mean, there are, Several, several ideas, but I, I shot a movie with my son uh, called Wild Boy and it's about a, a feral child found in the woods and he's playing the feral child and I'm playing the, the, the doctor who is you know, cultivating him or trying to do research on him and in there there were probably some seeds that I used later on uh, the fact that his first haircut uh, it's his first haircut in life as it is in the movie um, it's the first English word he ever uttered uh, in the movie and in life. Uh, it's the first time he wears a shirt alone, which takes him a long time, in the movie as in life. So there, there are some ideas where we are not actors, and I'm not interested in working with actors as for now, but I'm interested in you know, looking at life, seeing what it offers, and trying to understand what kind of narrative, fictional narratives, can connect to it. Um, in a way, or can feed into it. Um, so one becomes the motor of the other, or change the other. Culminates in, in Stealing Beauty, where you know it's the last movie we did, and after that we separated. Um, and it's kind of you know the movie is about that in a way, I guess. So the new work, as for now, it's titled Spies, but who knows? I'm usually I usually choose the name, uh, you know, in the last moment. So when it's done will know the name. Um, what we see is a, an image of, of uh, the, the logo of uh, the Ministry of Tourism in Israel. And the logo is the logo depicting is like a very modernist, abstract, stylized, uh, uh, only circles and, and triangles, uh, showing the, the two of the spies uh, that, of the 12 that Moses sent to the land of Israel before he was meaning to conquer it, uh, two of those spies coming back with the grapes, giant grapes. And the story went on that the, the 12 spies come back and they tell Moses, yeah, the land is indeed the promised land. It is the land of milk and honey. Look at the giant grapes. But there are also giants there. It's scary. We should not go there. We will never be able to conquer it. And for, for spreading fear in the nation, they were punished. That's the general story. Um, the movie focus, focuses on an abstract level on why on earth did 
Israeli authority, government, ministry chose that image some 40 years ago uh, as the logo for the, the, the Ministry of Tourism. And what's the connection between tourists and spies? And what's the connection between choosing an image that is a sort of an origin, like going all the way back to the Bible, only to realize that this origin, this origin is not an origin because you are a tourist from the beginning. It actually says that you are a tourist and not that you were part of this land. I mean, the other myth is, you know, the, the, the Greek myth where people spring from the land, yeah? Um, they're landowners, you cannot argue with that, but this is a clumsy myth, so it's about that. Um, what we see is, we see this image and there is a, um, a very slow zoom out. That you start from the image, the flat image, with a dialogue that's supposed to look as if these two spy figures are talking amongst themselves, and as the camera pulls out, you realize that it's mounted, it's a, it's a, a sign mounted at the entrance to a tourist uh, information uh, station, uh, office, somewhere in Israel, and gradually you see the street, a little, bit, a little bit of the street, and you realize that the two people talking are actually two tourists standing in front of the, of the sign, talking about the sign and other things. And these two people become, the, the dialogue is built a, a lot out of uh, uh, Beckett couples, uh, couples Beckett created. So there's kind of a correlation between the spies, the Beckett couples, between tourists, tourists and spies, etc. between, yeah, 